If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. To copy an estimate to a purchase order, the estimate status must be either accepted or pending, but not closed. You must also have enabled purchase orders within the expenses category of the account and settings window in your company file. Additionally, you can only copy items to a purchase order from the estimate that are marked as being purchased from a vendor. These are the items within your products and services list for which you check the I purchased this product slash service from a vendor checkbox when you created those items in the product service information pane. If you need to change an estimate status, open the saved estimate and then click the status below the customer dropdown to show an estimate status drop down menu. Select the desired estimate status from the estimate status drop down. Optionally, enter values into the buy and date fields to confirm who accepted the estimate and when. Then click outside the drop down to close it. Then click the save button in the toolbar to save the change if needed. To copy the items from the estimate to a new purchase order, click the drop down arrow on the Create Invoice button towards the upper right corner of the estimate. Then click the Copy to Purchase Order command. Then read the message and click OK in the window that opens to copy all the qualifying items from the estimate to a new purchase order. To delete any items you do not need from this purchase order, Click the trash can icon at the right ends in the line items area. Then double check each remaining line items costing information to ensure its accuracy. To assign the line item amounts to a customer or project, select the correct one from the customer project columns drop down menu. Then select the desired vendor from the vendor drop down at the top of the form and fill out the remaining fields in the form as needed. Then save and send it as usual. You can repeat this process to create as many purchase orders as you need to send to the different vendors associated with the estimate and edit each as needed. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.